All right, y'all, welcome to Ellis Mowers. We are doing a, another push mower today. Uh, this one, give y'all a little background, I got for free, for all intents and purposes. A guy bought one for full price from me. Uh, so I didn't have to pay anything for it. And uh, he was 20 minutes away. Um, can't really get out of the house very easily, so I took it to him. So, you know, the 20 miles or so of gas that I used on the truck here is about all I got in it so you're talking like three four dollars point gas prices are at the time of recording um, bail cable works on it it is a Murray three and a half horsepower classic and as you can see he's done some interesting things with the springs and whatnot on it so I will have to worry do some carb springs and stuff to it um, has compression which is good Air, air filter is atrocious, which I would kind of guess that it was. Yeah, you can see the spring setup that he had was a horrible. Um, and it's also the wrong way. So we're going to write it now. It's not really any... I think I got some of these lying around somewhere um, to make work because as y'all know these springs are nowhere near the way that they're supposed to be with the way that one 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 of the springs is supposed to go here and then the other one is kind of like a return spring it just um, you know just does the return linkage there um, so obviously this thing is not anywhere near where it needs to be uh, in terms of that um, what else do we have here let's look at the blade while we're at it yeah, that blades pretty bad I think I've got a 20 inch blade that blade is so dull it's a little bent there on the end there as well I think so uh, let's see got a little bit of ribbon wrapped around it let's see if I can sharpen it uh, actually, it may not be bent. We'll see what we'll see how bad it vibrates when it runs, and I might sharpen it again. This lawnmower is probably no more than a forty-dollar mower, so um, in terms of the standards of it running and cutting, basically it just needs to run and cut grass. Because if somebody's cutting a perfectly manicured lawn with it, look at that oil! Oh my goodness! Then uh. <laughs> They need better equipment anyways to cut a manicured lawn with. Um, these are good mowers overall though. I'm really, like the pull rope's in good condition. So I don't have to do anything with the pull rope running gear. Stuff like that, which is nice. Um, the one thing that's gonna kinda fiddle with me though is that the mounting point on the actual engine over here for the bolt. Ooh, that gas looks bad too. Um, the gas tank's not gas tank is um, doesn't have any holes in it so that's good um, but the mounting point for this bolt this bolt on the engine for the gas tank is been stripped and so I'm gonna have to improvise on that front I don't know how I'm quite gonna do that yet but we'll we'll get into it um, really want to turn this around in a couple of hours I think I've got all the parts necessary to do so diaphragm primer bulb air filter and then I'll just figure out what I've got to do with that so uh, and I'll look at the springs I think I've got a spring or two for these carburetors um, if not I will find some springs that work obviously that does not I don't know oh the things people do to get mowers running around here sometimes it's just crazy um, Out of curiosity, let me grab a little bit of starting fluid. I am going to take that tank off. Starting fluid. Uh, grab my clamp wherever I put a cl my clamps at. There's one. I don't like that one though. I like the smaller one. There it is. All right, clamp. That 
way I can set y'all down so that you can watch this. Let's see if we can get it around here. Easy enough, it does run. So let me take the one remaining bolt off of the gas tank here, the 3 8 and that will allow me to remove the gas tank. We'll see and make sure that the intake tube and all that's still in good shape, and uh, we'll address this whole situation with the throttle and all that because obviously this thing's not going to rev up and the governor's not going to work correctly. I will. Um, probably just wash out the gas tank because the gas tank, I don't know if y'all can see how bad that gas is in there, but it is pretty bad. There you go. Get that washed out and then I'll rejoin y'all after I do all of that. And just look at how bad inside this carb diaphragm was. Again, you just take the five screws off of the carb there and that gets you into the diaphragm. It is pretty bad. And then the, uh, you know, all this right here too with the fuel filter or the um, pickup screen and all that. We'll make sure that we blow that out and make sure that it's working correctly. Including the little screen here. Uh, we'll get it We'll get it working, don't worry. These, uh, these motors are so simple to get back going again. Um, so let me wash this out. Um, let's check. This tube is good still. That's a good that's a good sign. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get feet off a bolt back there or a nut back there behind the broken mounting point, mounting post on this mower, but uh, we will improvise something that will work. Um, again, we'll just see what we got. Look in my arsenal figure out what we're going to do. Um, so let me go ahead and wash out that gas tank. And uh, continue on. Alright, so a little bit of water. I got the tank in much better shape. I might hit it with some carb cleaner just real quick. Um, again, this uh, carburetor. Some carb cleaner. Uh, I'm going to make this spring work for the um, governor's spring and then I'm going to try and find a good throttle spring I don't know I've got a little box of parts here um, and I also have this carb kit it's one of them Chinese carb kits so those are hit or miss so we'll see if that works on it um, I'll throw some carb cleaning into this I'll go ahead and put everything back together again gasket first and then or um, diaphragm first, gasket second, at least according. I always forget, but I think that's the way it goes so that it seals right down here on the little pickup area. And that's the way that it came off, and I know it was running when it came off, so. Uh, throw a little carb cleaner, um, get everything back together. I'll show you what I did with the springs and stuff before we start it up. All right, so let me show you what I've come up with. I found another spring that um, looks like it will do the job for the throttle. And then um, another, sp and then the existing spring that was the original gover governor spring, um, I just kind of bent out a little bit of it and um, put it back on where it, was, where it was supposed to be. I think it's going to run a little on the fast side to start with. So I might push, I might adjust this throttle in a little bit. We'll see. Um, oh, and also, the gas tank, I was able to put find a washer, find a longer bolt, and I was able to bolt it in. So it should be good now. It's got plenty of surface area that is bonding in the back. Again, it's got the bolt in the front here that I actually haven't tightened up yet, so... There we go. That thing should be firmly attached now. Again, we're talking. We're just trying to get this thing to work and to work reliably. We're not trying to make it look pretty. 
or do anything pretty to be honest with you just want it working put list it for 40 bucks somebody have a good reliable mower and uh you know hopefully cut with it for a couple years if not longer these classic engines will run forever as long as you make sure they don't run out of oil i mean you can see how black the oil was when i checked it earlier um so let me do this i'll make sure it has oil in it and we're going to test it out and make sure that it's running running okay and then we'll proceed to service it and do all the good stuff with it like the oil change and the blade sharpen so let me get it off of the um stand here and uh get it down and we'll see what we got well so i'm fine chinese diaphragm gasket fashion this is the first batch i've really had that's been just bad i had one batch that was good i had to double up on gaskets as you can see it's priming now so other gasket looked like it had shriveled up like shriveled up pretty bad in there and uh so we'll send that and this to the trash let's see how it runs it's got enough oil in it to see, to see what we got here about that if it weren't for the gasket issue i'd have probably had that thing running in about let me take the time i've probably been working on it in about an hour even with the gasket stuff probably been about 40 minutes if i 30 to 40 minutes if i hadn't um so what what i'll do y'all seen me do it many many times um air filter Blade sharpen, oil change, wash it. I'll give you all a final look on this. Again, just a little bit of maintenance on something that didn't look very um, pleasing to the eye when we originally started. It was going to turn out and make us a little bit of money. So, uh, you know, it's 40 to $50. Take it, you know. Don't have any money in it. Or less than five bucks in it, probably. And so... Uh, yeah, I'll do all that, and we'll uh, do a final look and start for you. All right, here is the uh, end result of this Murray 3.5 Classic. Nice little bath helps it out a lot, doesn't it? Um, again, this one just needed... I just need to fix the gas tank mount to where it won't... where it will be firm, and it is. Do the primer bulb, air filter, carb diaphragm, sharpened blade, new oil. You know, all about hour to an hour and 15 minutes worth of work granted complications that i had so uh let me turn this thing around it's wet so it might take a couple of uh turns to start here but 
Um, I'll give you all a final run. I'm going to let it run for a little bit just to make sure I've got all the curves, all the water and stuff out of the gas tank and all that good stuff. So hopefully it'll paint for us. This video with it not running just so y'all can hear me um yeah everybody that every time i post one of these everybody says that they just absolutely love them simple little mowers easy to work on run forever um they just don't bring any money they shouldn't bring any money hey i got a little spider rolling around so i gotta purge them out of the system there but uh yeah it turned out turned out nicer than I expected and it didn't take long at all to get going so I appreciate y'all watching if y'all want to find real-time updates of what I am working on you can catch me over at Ellis Mowers 09 on Instagram and Facebook on to the next project catch y'all there